he didn't never sell drugs? I done had a few people to, uh, to say that I on this show. I don't, I don't think that he wasn't around guys who were selling drugs, you know, but I don't think that he necessarily was a drug dealer himself. I ain't saying that he might be sold a 50 here. Yeah, yeah, know. but just The successful. homie gave you something and, <laughs> and, you know, you sold it. I, I don't consider that a drug dealer. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Well, man, no, man, congratulations, man, on all the stuff you've been doing, man. You know, just the, the moves you've been making. I always watch your moves, man. Uh, I love that Joe Rogan uh, interview. Man, that thing that thing is crazy, I man. I worked hard to get back on it. No, you man. didn't even, man, I think you just, you work anyway. I think your story is gonna take you well, places where you, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do stuff so these people recognize you, you know. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they won't, they won't call you on if, if Right. If, if they don't recognize you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I heard you tell somebody a little while ago, man, what are we going to talk about? <laughs> so you got to give them something, yeah. you know. You 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 know, a lot of people thinking that, um, you know, you just wake up one day. And I used to think like this here, too, you know, when, when I was a kid that, you know, one day I was going to wake up and be smart. Wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, go to bed, pray at night when I go to bed. Oh, I'm gonna pray. oh, please let me be smart in the morning, you know. Wow. And then smart. What is smart? Like what what do you think smart is? You know what I mean? Cuz uh, smart is is subjective. But to to the individual, you know what? That's right. My That's smart right. was going to be my what I was what I, what I was praying to be smart is how to get some money. There you go. See your smart. <laughs> <laughs> no, see a woman smart may trying to get married. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Everybody's got, Everybody's got some guys different. want to get a wife. There you or go. Or two wives. Or you know? two wives. There you go. <laughs> so that, this is this is what I'm saying, man. So no, mine was 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 to get smart on how to make some money. Wow, and and I think I think you figured it out. You didn't see it coming the way it came, but you figured it out. Well, yeah, yeah, I did. You know, I mean, you you know, th there's a saying that if you if you look for it, you will find it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of times, and if you're really looking for, because some people, you know, they they want something, but they really want something else. You know, like say for instance, you know, we was talking about somebody getting high and. You know, some people they'll say they want money, but as soon as they get some money, they're gonna go buy some dope. Yeah, yeah. So the money is is just a a, a, a a vehicle to get what they really want, but they think they really want some money, but what they really want is some dope. That's it. And they should be concentrating on on the, on the dope. On the dope. If that's what they want. <laughs> that's you know right. What I'm that's right. Because whatever you want, you 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 can get it if you really put your mind to it. I agree with that. That what you think. You think? That's true, but a lot of people are not willing to sacrifice the hard work to, to get whatever they need. Just like I heard you talking about, you know, how you really put your mind into. But if you had known back then what you know now, you would have not done what you did. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. You would have put all that effort into something legal and gotten a lot further ahead. Yeah, no, uh, I, I could have been working at McDonald's, you know, because. Uh, I'm very disciplined, you know, like, mm -hmm. uh, I, I went on this for the past, like, six months, I went on this acai thing where I just fell in love with acai. And I'm an obsessive person, too. You know, if wow. I like something, I just keep doing it. And and I started eating acai every day because I fell in love with them. I thought they was healthy for you. And I found out that it, it raised my, my blood sugar level. What is acai? It's a fruit, uh, a fruit bowl that... I, and I love it. I just, I don't know. They turn me on to it and I just got to know. But it raises your. It raises your blood sugar level. So and, you had to. And I had back to quit. Off. Cold turkey. Wow. You know, I haven't had one in, in three or four weeks now. And I don't think I'm going to ever eat one again. Wow. You but know. maybe you could eat it, but just in moderation and not every I, single day. I don't day. have a moderation. You know, oh, you're when, I, when I want so some, when I want some, and 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 I just get it. You know, mm. and and that's the way I do pretty much with with everything, with everything that I do. So I have to, but I still have to be disciplined. That when I know that I'm going in the wrong direction, and no matter how hard I've been going it, I I can turn around. Okay. Wow, you know, um, the the thing that tripped me out when you was on. Joe Rogan show that I didn't realize and I said man how I missed that you said that Jay Z mm -hmm. had got stopped in a car right I had DeHaven on here just about two weeks ago 
And I ain't asked him nothing. I, I didn't even know that. It blew my mind. I'm like, because they, I went to New York and went to the Marcy Projects and interviewed D. Haven. You know, he grew up with Jay. So I was asking him all these questions. I had him booked, right? And then I brought him down here. We kicked it so hard. I never brought that up. And then you blow me away with that statement. I'm like, what? Now you didn't know about Calvin Klein. I didn't even know. I knew about his incident because he took a bullet for Jay. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Behaving did, mm-hmm. and it was like, damn, like, and, and they was together, and they scored. They but the dude they scored from set them up, and they got robbed. But then they fell out as they grew up. They grew apart, of course, just like him and Calvin Klein did. And I was like, damn, man, how come I didn't know that? Damn, I didn't do my research, you mm-hmm. know. But I guess God got His own well, way. You know, of thing. when I was in jail, I did a lot of reading and, and you you knew you seen what was going on. Well, you know, you ain't got nothing else to do. You know, in there, what you gonna do? You gonna play cards, dominoes, chess? Or you gonna study with me? Like I said, I'm obsessive. So you know, I, like I said, I read over 300 books. I don't know how many magazines, newspapers. Um, I just been waiting on my turn so that I can really unleash all this, all this information that I gathered. You know, all all the studying that I did because I haven't been able to do it yet. You know, um, in 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 this society, you you got to have some money to really. Like make a big impact. You Have know. you met any hold on, other? Hold on, I want to go back to some. I want to go back to that Jay thing because he skipped right by okay, what I was about to ahead. ask. Him. I was about to ask you: Do you really think he didn't never sell drugs? I, I done had a few people to to say that. I don't, on this show. I, don't, I don't think that he wasn't around guys who were selling drugs. You know, but I don't think that he necessarily. Was a drug dealer himself. I ain't saying that he might be sold a fifty here. Yeah, you know, yeah, but just the homie it. gave you something, and, <laughs> and you know you sold it. I, I don't consider that a drug dealer. You yeah, know? yeah. I, I consider a drug dealer somebody who gets up every morning, and their intention is to go out and sell drugs, not yeah. to become a rapper. Uh, uh, you know, not trying to be a, a, a firefighter, a police officer, a car dealer. <laughs> You know, you, you're, I get it. you're a drug dealer. You know, <laughs> straight up and down. Yeah, ain't no nothing and else. Ain't no turning back. You get a <laughs> rush, so I know you ain't turning back. Because <laughs> I heard you mention that you said you can you you know a drug dealer when you see. How can you just see a person and you never and you know you didn't see them selling anything, but you just can look at a person and well, know they got a certain drug, drug dealers got a certain mentality, you know, about how they they carry themselves and how they conduct business. And and not saying that everybody go fits that same category because they don't. Right. But w- with most drug dealers, you will see that they surround themselves with other people to 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 work for them, to do things for them, and it's kind of like you helping them. But when you help them, you also help yourself. yourself. So you know, and you understand in the drug business that you can't get rich in the drug business by yourself. You know, Mm -hmm. you got to bring other people with you. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.